Hello, what I have for you today is a set of macros that's going to create a pop-up direct select and then return you to the previously established set of screens. This is especially useful if you have limited screen real estate. So let's take a look at what's going on. Okay, at the bottom here we have a series of macros. I'm going to press macro 991 in the bottom left corner here, and it's going to allow me to select a group. It's then going to return me to the screens I had before, and now I'm going to select a color palette, color palette 25, and now I've selected a group, I've selected a color palette, and I'm good to go. I did that all without disrupting my screen workflow. Let's take a look at what this macro is doing. You can see that it's recording snapshot 999, a temporary snapshot of the screens we have currently open. Then it is recalling snapshot 991, and then it is awaiting three seconds for us to make our selection, and then recalling snapshot 999. Now, if you do not like the fact that it waits three seconds and that every time you make a selection, you have to wait three seconds, I have an alternative for you located on macro 999. If we sneak clear and clear everything out, we can select macro 999 groups alternate, and then we can have as much time as we want to make our selections. I'm gonna select mirror out group five and mirror in group four, and I'm going to then press the macro button to continue the macro, and it's going to return me to snapshot 999 or the screens where we started from. And now I can place those at full, and then we're good to go. You can use either style you like, uh, but both styles are available to you in the description at the bottom of the video, and I hope that they are of use to you. Thank you so much for watching, and have a good day.